The Rancor's Brothel presents... A Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Out of Out the of abyss. abyss. Go ahead. No, not on not on a crit. It's not. <coughs> you can't even get hit with magic missile when you use shield. Come on. And that twenty that never hits. misses. If I know. If my character cast shield, you would say the exact same thing. I know. I love Jeff as a DM. It's the second one down, I believe. It's got crossed arrows. <laughs> Split lip. Spells with a verbal component have a fifty percent chance of failing until you are healed. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't, it doesn't say so. To be fair, that effect sucks. Until when? I'm sorry? Until, Until you're, you're healed. healed. Six damage. That's funny. I like that card. That's kind of cool. Okay, what's left? Uh, Droki is going to attack you, Matt. Yeah. And miss. God damn it. And Narak is going to throw another Eldritch Blast at Lucas. Is he still tingly? Actually, he hasn't moved, so he's invisible. Damn. Nice. It's a nine and a three. Is your AC Lucas 15 or 16? 13. Oh. 13. Oh. Plus five spell attack. He got you. So a 14. It is 1d10, and you got to take the special thing to get the added bo- added damage, right? I don't know. I'm vulnerable. I don't know what Your that Eldritch no, Blast. Eldritch Blast. It's just a 1d10 or is a 1d10 plus spell attack bonus or some shit. No, mine mine has a, has a modifier because of something else. That's what I thought. Yeah, it's just a standard it's just, D10. Just D10. 16 force damage, since you're vulnerable. Yeah, I wasn't sure how the, what the vulnerable thing did. Oh, I forgot. You did. He said to the floor. Wild magic? You? No, he's casting a cantrip, so wild magic wouldn't have an effect. Uh, you place a curse on a target that you can see within range. Until the, until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1D6 necrotic damage to the target whenever you hit with an attack. Also, choose one ability when you cast the spell. The target has disadvantage on ability checks made with the chosen ability. I didn't even read that. You just wanted the extra D6 <coughs> of damage. Sorry. So 16 plus D6. Three more damage. 19 okay. damage. Three of that's necrotic? Three of that is necrotic. Good. That's good. That's good. I just like the idea that Lucas blew this guy into a building. And like he just Superman style got up out of the shit and just like, all right, motherfucker, let's roll. <laughs> That scene from Scott Pilgrim where Brandon Ralph like rises up and comes through the rubble. Okay, that's the end of the round. Troy, you're up. Um, I don't bo- think I don't think we're nearly as bad off as you think we are, but it's not pretty. <laughs> Bonus action, stabilize. Okay, pop and claws. Just don't zero, forget you have potions left, and they are communal communal potions. Whoever wants to drink one can can have the effect. How many potions do we have left? Two. Stabilize, I'm just at zero, right? But that's yes. an action to take that. It is. So We are going to need something big to turn the tide in our favor, but I yeah. don't think that we have lost the day yet by any stretch of the imagination. Does a 22 hit the giant? It does. Yes. Pop and claws. That, mm-hmm. that might. How many so- side points do you have? I have 11 remaining. I thought you'd used more than that. Roll me a d20. Really getting up curious about why you're rolling a d20 all the time. Okay. Two-headed things, maybe? Madness? Nope. It's something that I should have been doing any time that you guys were in the fair's rest. It's not uh, bad. 16. It's another good hit. It is. Would you give us a status update on the giant as a la 4E? Is he bloodied? He's surely bloodied by now. Right about. Oh, shit. Anything else? I'll dig it. Nope. No, sir. Lucas, you're up. What did you say? Uh, I was trying to gauge about how many hit points it had left. Bloodied is like... Halfway. Yeah. We've done about 60, 50, 60 damage to it, something like that, which yeah. I'd guess it to have somewhere between like 90 and 120. Which is why I said... Well, I mean, it's it's still it's still doable. We just need Jeff to roll a few more threes and a few less 19s. All right, I'm going to throw an Otis Blast at the guy that just hit me. The one in the back. Uh, 13 plus 7 hits. 
Say that again, I'm sorry. 13 plus 7 probably hits him. You're throwing at the warlock? Yeah. Okay. Uh, give me just a second. You should curse him. I don't curse stuff. I curse you. <laughs> okay, yeah, that hits. Roll your d10 plus 5, Lucas, or whatever it is. 15 total. Nice shot. And a d6 to Kira. Hey, I got a 6. Yay! I have 6 hit points. Tell your lady friend those dice roll a hell of a lot better than anything else you've had so Absolutely. far. Yeah, no yeah. shit. Move. I'm going to take a step back into the darkness <sighs> to get full cover. Okay. It's not a terrible idea. Nope. Matt. Um, uh, I would like to drink a potion. Grab the box. I just fucking said I wouldn't do. Can you get it, Lucas, so I don't have a fucking chair again? I don't know what's in there. Did we use all the healing potions? No, there's two healing potions left. Oh. Aren't you a cleric? Yeah, I don't want to waste... Well, I, I don't want a 50% chance my spell's not going to work because I got hit in the fucking mouth. What was that? Mouth. I said mouth on purpose. I got to use the phrase welcome to earth a lot in our uh, most recent recording. I don't remember why we were referencing Will Smith. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I don't remember which one is which. Does anybody... I don't have the right notebook. Uh-huh. The, the two we had left. He drank a grater. He I drank, drank the, a grater. I drank okay. the fireball and the psych, psychic uh, resistance. resistance. So there's two regulars. Yeah, so it's 2d4 plus 4. That works. That's why you got all the thumbs out. I got all the thumbs out. <laughs> 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 what a baby bitch. I f***ing hate vinegar. I'll find something better next time, then. Like... Jones soda. No, you won't. You because it's already that flavor. <laughs> the Jones soda will like rot. Vinegar won't mold. Yeah. It'll just be more vinegary. <laughs> so is the spell, is the potion still good? Yeah. <laughs> be a fucking dick. Those potions were made too long ago. For nine hit points. The other was a four. It only half sucked. Spiritual weapon hit the giant. Go for it. Mm. Does a 16 hit? Yes. Oh, okay. Ooh, for max damage of 13. Nice. That is all. Cody. Uh, Kira's going to stand up. Okay. And can, if I, I'm currently within its reach, right? You are. So I can run around within its reach. Yes. I'm going to slide. I'm sorry, I can't see over that die where I'm at. Yet. Into his DMs. Okay. I'm now within five feet of it, yeah? You are. Uh, okay. Okay. I can't remember. Did the dragon want to talk to Droki? Or are you supposed to kill him? Doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, I'm going to swing on the giant with my glaive. That's a crit 20. Nice. For 25 damage. Let's make it a good one. <laughs> the card says deadly, so thanks to our game so far. <laughs> Gutted. Quadruple damage. And if the target takes... The damage the target takes is equal to or greater than half of their maximum hit points, they are disemboweled. I don't think I can get that. Just mathematically, on 4d10 plus 3, but... One... You could throw a superiority die on. Ooh. I was thinking about it, but I didn't know if you would count that for I, that or not. Yeah, I absolutely would. You'd double it. Uh, so I'll do... The first are 13... 21, 22, 23, 24. So Apparently far. Bixby thought you were talking to her. <laughs> Who's Bixby? The Samsung Siri. Would anybody like to move... Would either of the two of you like to move? Uh, no. Okay, they have the option, but they don't have to take it. Wow. You just talk him into wasting a superiority die, because that's an extra dick move. I, you know, I didn't think about it until after I'd said it, but don't make him roll the superiority. For 526. Uh, so I did 27 damage that Jeff cuts in half. Um, so do 14 or 13, which would you rather me do? You always round down. You discover your weapon is in disrepair. It deals half damage until you can take time required to tend it. Um, <clears throat> so how much? 13? They 13. Blue card? It doesn't help. I don't know where it went, but it doesn't. Help. Somewhere around. Oh, it's in my thumb. Yeah, it doesn't help. Um, action surge to attack him again. Go for it. That's one short of a crit, so that's 24. It's six total, so I deal him three damage. And I'll take my bonus action to action surge. Which is... 12 hit points. So I am not in my defensive stance. Okay. Wait, action surge gets you an extra attack. 
not second wind. I'm second, second wind. wind. Okay. I already took my action okay. surge and my. So second make sure you wind. got the right thing and didn't cross off the thing you could probably use. I just used it now because <laughs> I was gonna try and deal it. I would have dealt it like thirty two or thirty three damage sure, sure. if I wasn't dealing half damage now. Yeah. For the rest of the combat. The rest of the combat. I well until, until can I can repair it, it. I can mend it. Well, so can I. As an hour long ritual. I have mending. Oh, and that's a ten minute spell. It is. That's not gonna help us right now. Nope. Just yeah. talk him into the superiority die, and then fucking. I did boost him. You said you should give him a bonus. Fucking die. Fucking. No, he made a good. He made a good point. I was gonna spend it anyway, because I was just. I'm just trying. I was hoping thirty or did, forty damage would smash down. Did you down. double the superiority die? I did not. Roll another superiority die, and then cut it in half. Thanks. One more damage. He's dead. Congrats. No, but I bet I would have dropped him if I'd have been able to do full damage. You were. I'm really close right now. Yes. So why don't you go ahead and take an attack so I can use my reaction to f him up? Okay. He's going to attack you. Dick. You just got up and jumped in the middle. I know. I can. Uh, I bet you can, because I don't think. Any... Nah, I don't, I'm not able to. Is it? Did you use your reaction? Does no. A, does a 14 hit? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, the next one's going at Morik. I used my reaction to attack him. Uh, I rolled a 17 to hit. That'll hit. For a total of 8, so in half, 4 damage. So 4 damage drops him, I stab him in the throat before he hits you. Got him! A die fell, and I don't know die. So, since I will narrate it as they continue to look for this die, so Kira gets up. What's with this fucking magic carpet? Well, you don't know what happened to your dice. Losing some medicine in the rug. It went, it's it magic carpet, right? My pants don't <laughs> <laughs> so fashion called. Kira gets up, rolls over, murders the thing. Suddenly finds out her weapon is in disrepair. Does half damage, heals herself, blocks a shot, and then stabs it in the throat before it can hit Morik, trying to save his life for the second time in this combat. <sighs> Are we looking for this die that's like right under Bigfoot? Yeah, my, my, my chair. Thank you. After all that, you left it at two hit points. Oh, yeah, no. I knew when I did the math, <laughs> it's like it probably has about 100 hit points. I've done probably between 50 and 60 so far <laughs> as a group. So it's like if I do, if I can hit it and pop it twice, I was thinking 11, 22, and then I could hit it one more time. So I was thinking I could do yeah. you know, 99. I well, can only move 20 at a time, so I'm actually probably going to send it over here to one of these guys. Droki is going work. to move five feet into the darkness. Mm, can I hit? Not once he gets in the darkness. If I accidentally hit Matt, I'll take the risk. I'll let him take the risk. <laughs> I don't think he would accidentally hit me. I'll give you a 50-50. Um, is he disengaging? You know, I don't know if he has that. I don't know if I can actually... I actually don't think I can hit him, Jeff, actually. Okay. Because he's still within, he's still technically within ten of me, right? Yeah, he is. He is in your inside your reach. I need to be using Tunnel Fighter in order to. Hit. Okay. So he can actually disengage from me that with, or he can actually move away at that point, and I can't do anything about it. Okay. I don't get a hit for him moving. No, he's, he's your inside reach. your reach. He's not leaving your reach. Now he is. Now well, he's not. yeah, he is. But he's in the dark. Once he once he has total cover, he's going to, and he is somewhere in there. The DM has suggested that he is important. <clears throat> uh, thank God we have a cadre of uh, clerics blocking the exit. Kira. Yes, I'm sure they'll be super yep. helpful. Two crossbow bolts. One of them hits. One of them does. Um, the other one is a eleven. No, we'll say not unless there's some wicked ass crossbow 11. bolts. Six points of damage. I am really glad I healed myself. Two more go at L and L. 16's not going to hit. Nope. And... <laughs> that hits. Uh, that's a 24. To hit who? To hit Alan now. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh. A bolt, <laughs> bolt of force comes streaking out of the shadows at you. He would appear when he casts it. So he we would. would. We would see him. For one point of damage. Nice. <laughs> Lucas did... Making sure I'm not. Yeah. Um, that's everybody. So, Troy, you're up. 
don't think we need it. I don't know. Just attack one. Yeah, just tear into him. Um, I can only attack one. <coughs> Unless you let me split it. What? My claws? Nope. It's a dick. <laughs> you said this is a globe. How high? Uh, ten feet high. Uh, does a sixteen hit <laughs> with a yes. short sword? These yes, are mooks. You can do whatever you want to. Them. Wow, for a whopping five damage. Okay. And then an offhand. That probably doesn't hit. Nine? No, it does not. You're hitting three or four? I hit three first. Three. Okay. Uh, Lucas, you're up. Take one step back outside of the darkness. I can throw Eldritch Blast at my little friend on the other end of the, the other end of the board there again. Yeah, go for it. You don't want to <laughs> do that spiky thing? <laughs> He's got to be within 60 feet. You want to move up and do that spiky thing? Well, I'm guessing... I don't know how high his wisdom is compared to that dra- that giant. I mean, I've dealt this guy... You only got to come up it right here. Damage, you can hit him. Right? You can hit him from here. Just do whatever you're going to do. I'm going to... I already said what I was doing. Then roll to hit. Um, well, I forget what I'm... Plus five, I believe. Fifteen total. It's just plus seven. <laughs> Oh, it's an eight. Okay, I've okay. Hit four. <laughs> Fifteen <laughs> hits exactly. The look on Matt's face. I was holding up a four because I thought it was a four, so I show the guys at the other end of the table what he rolled. Ten more force damage. Lucas is doing work on him. Yep. He can't look good. Um, who looks worse, Kira or Eleanor? Kira. Kira. <laughs> Five more hit points to you. Hey. I am not bad at all. I haven't seen twenty since the first round of this combat. <laughs> <laughs> said five right yes sweet and i will move back into the darkness if we were playing blackjack i would stay but would not feel comfortable about it <laughs> matt um start with my bonus action first have him go one two and hit number four okay and these guys who now that we're looking at these guys the crossbowmen were what darrow okay i just making sure i assumed but there are no gray dwarves at all yikes huh ten is a tan here. It does not. Okay, so I missed with that. And then I'm going to double move just to be ready for Droki. Okay, sure. And then I had one thing of movement left. So I'm going to start pulling this back towards me. So I went up 15, hit, start coming back. Okay. <clears throat> At this point, you don't have line of sight on it. But I can summon it to me. I can't hit anything. No, you have to have line of sight on it to affect it. So you could have moved it before you moved. No, I, no the movement now is fine. After this, you aren't within sight. There's okay. a globe of darkness blocking yeah, I you. I figured out how far I gotta move. Who okay. cast that? You don't know. The globe of darkness? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry, I thought you said we saw it. You made it seem like we saw um I thought, Droki I thought cast Droki it. did it, yeah. Yeah. It would be a fair assumption. Um I'm five, ten, fifteen. I can use my movement to get up between one and two, right? Yeah, I'm sure you can. I'll go like there ish. Mm, can I do that from here? I was looking to do something special, and I don't know if I can do that or not. Yeah, I can be there. That's kosher. Uh, make an t- attack on the Darrow number two. Okay. Does a 16 hit? It does. Uh, D10 plus three. So he takes a total of 11 damage. Okay. I'm expending a superiority die. Would a 16 have hit his friend? Yes. Um, number two takes an additional seven points of damage for a total of... So both of those need to be halved. Yeah, eat a dick. Um, six damage to number two, number nine two. damage total to number two, and three damage to number one. Okay. And I'll hit number two with the butt end of my glaive. Uh, ten's probably not going to hit. Okay. <clears throat> Have these guys climbed up out of the hole yet? They don't matter. Nope. I know, but I want bodies between Droki and the exit. Uh, there's this one. Even at half their speed, you know they've f***ing gotten up. Well, yeah, but then they heard an Etten charging in and figured, well, we'll let them handle this. I want their badge numbers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how am I going to do this? Well, you should start by being a motherfucker. <laughs> LNL, uh, wisdom save, please. 19? That'll work. I'm sorry. 21? Yes, that'll, that'll save. <laughs> You feel a, a wave of magical energy wash over you and then slip off. Just doesn't matter. Uh, and actually... Okay. Okay. Uh, they're all going to pull their spears. Uh, these two will move up 
one square, and the other two will attack LNL. Two against LNL. Uh, 17's not going to hit, is it? No, sir. Two against Kira. Neither one of those is going to hit. Yeah, I finally got some hits that didn't hit me. I think it's only the second or third thing that's targeted me that hasn't hit me. <laughs> um, Morik, <coughs> make me a perception check. 18? Very 18? good. You hear movement coming up behind you and you get advantage on coming out. Why are you behind me? I was facing the globe looking for him. Okay, he waited for you to pass and came out behind you. Hoping to catch you unawares. Bitch. And is probably going to miss with a 15. Yep. Okay. And he will dart back in. Op attack? Yeah. He just disengaged and has a full five foot outside of your fucking circle. Yep, I'll give it to you. Sweet. Up top, smart guy. (laughs) Clip it. Uh, 15? As a reaction, you see his short sword come up and parry your hammer. Bitch. Okay. That was a that's that my reaction. Turn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting awful goddamn hostile. You haven't even been hit that much. I mean, I lost. Good. Good. Sixty-eight and percent or so. Before. Troy, you're up. Swing at number three again. Lost like almost seventy hit points already in this fight. Twenty-two. Yeah, that'll hit. And one again. Jesus. For Gross. another five. That'll drop it. Okay. Offhand to four. Yep. Oh. Thirteen. That'll hit. Close. Yeah. Ooh, for max damage of six. Okay. Uh, take three off. <laughs> no, he stepped back in. Oh, did he? Yes, he did. How's he able to fire things? He's stepping in and out. Oh. <clears throat> so, Droki can see out of the globe of darkness? No, he can't. But he can hear a dwarf stomping around in armor. Okay. So, when you go walking past, he waits for you to pass. and Uh... It's Lucas, Lucas I believe. Sped me out again. See how many times I can hit this guy. 15 was the, uh, I think, the minimum. 15 is. It's an 18 on the die, so that's going to hit. Okay. For max damage, 15. You blow him out of his shoes. Yay! Okay. Um, who's, who's, who needs help? Once again, Kira. Ah, throwing only three that time. Higher than hey, two. Hey, guys. I made it to 20. Good job. <laughs> For the first time since the first time I got shot I've got, arrows. I've got one more of those left. Um, I'll just stay where I'm at. Well, yeah, I'll just stay where I'm at. Okay. Now that I see that most of the threat is gone. Matt. Um, can I see from there? Sure. Okay. You have Dodge. You have yeah. Look further out. Look further where? No, we are. Don't worry. I'm right here. Don't whisper. What? Where? Move that way. Back? Yeah. Why? To move you f- further away from the darkness. No, he can't really fucking hit me because he's a little bitch, so I'm just going to stay there. <laughs> and I'll get another reactionary hit. Okay. This is the man literally wearing a Coke machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm good. Thank you, Except though. it dispenses Thank you for RC your Cola. It's not concern. It's Strategic tactics. tactics. Yeah. yeah. Cody. Um, um, you're done? Yep. Cody, you're up. Drawing a weapon. I said dodge, movement, by right? the way. No, it's done as a part of the attack. Okay, I'll drop my glaive because right now the math is better on the hand axe and the attack is the same. Okay. The average would be five on a d10 and you're going to make me round that down. Oh. So yes, a d6, which would get me three, is actually better. Okay. I'm not pleased with it, but math math is math. Seven's not going to hit with my hand axe anyway. You only have one of those? Yeah, because all my tricks are with the one weapon. He broke. I'm I'm just saying you wouldn't carry at least two hand axes? I have two hand axes. Yeah, but I can't attack twice. Yeah, you can. Attack offhand. I've been yeah. doing it for the last 20 minutes. Sure, that's good. Would have been go able to well. drop and then draw two axes. Oh, yeah, you could not draw two as a part of an, act, of an attack. Well, that's dumb. Not unless you have the two weapon fighting feet. No. I'm pretty much a one trick pony with my now rusty glaive, apparently. It's not rusty, it's just chipped. Which a big total- old notch in it. Which, which totally affects how it slices through bodies. Yep, it does. The notches hurt more. Okay, uh, two at Cody. Yeah, the yeah. The metal yeah. part's wobbly. It's not on there all the way. Both hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pushed me up over 80 points of damage in this combat so far. I've been a t- I've been a tank in two campaigns. Did I ever g- complain about getting hit a lot? I didn't hear that. I didn't, I didn't think so. Okay. I didn't... Just wanted to... Literally two people at this table have better ACs than me. Not a tank. Four points of damage. 
you, you jumped but, in front of me. I was trying yeah, to draw Yeah, you're constantly fire. calling yourself to attention to be hit. So L and L again, the you. tunnel fighter thing. You're you. 16's not going to hit. You no. are to a tank the opposite of what I am to a cleric. Like, I suck at it. Lucas, perception check. Okay. Wouldn't that be passive perception because he's not actively looking? What's your passive perception? Natural 20. No, Never mind. go off your passive perception. F- you. No. You you, don't roll. You, you suggested it. He I suggested did, it, not me. <laughs> Take the f***ing card. I got it. Okay. It's not going to matter, but I got it. <laughs> <laughs> what do they see? You see Droki coming out of the darkness to stab you. Okay, Ooh, so which he does with gusto. <laughs> oh, so he just didn't get the surprise round. He Correct. Did, yeah, he doesn't. That's get an eighteen. His, he doesn't get a sneak hit. attack. Gotcha. Uh, that's a nineteen. That, that no will, eighteen. That, that, right. that will hit. Your reactions mostly this. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that is six damage. <clears throat> and make a Constitution save. Can you reaction turn on your wings and just fly straight up? I don't think I have any reactions. Isn't a warlock thing hellish rebuke? No, that's a that's a tiefling thing. Yeah, because they're from Lestat. Hell. Lestat head. That's right. You're an angel now instead of a demon. <coughs> no, it's a seven. Con seven? save. Yeah, seven. <laughs> Beans. The f- did you just roll for? Poison damage. Same thing. Seventeen points of poison damage. I'm on the ground. I poured in his mouth. Poison immediately killed him. I this thing, I had exactly 17 hit points left. So you're stable. No, because he's right you, at zero. No, man. Perfect. Zero. He's stable. He's stable. That's the rule. No, nope. I just read the DMG. He's stable. Look it up. We just never played like that before. Just, just, dude, just <laughs> never, we just never fucking did that. We just never, in all this time, we've never had someone hit exactly zero. It's always been a negative. We just we just never done that, Jeff. You just don't know the rule. Just just never played like that. Got those. Got those. Got it. That goes to Troy. Swing the short sword again. Yep. Ugh. Oh, Ten. Probably not gonna uh, miss. Offhand. That'll probably hit. Seventeen and stuff. For max damage of six. Woot. He should be dead. Not quite. What? No, you hit him last time, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, that one dropped. That's at least twelve plus something from before. Yeah. Chill out. And uh, I will move. <laughs> wow. That was... I know she's a c- but Jesus. <laughs> what have I ever done to you, Matt? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what have I ever done to Matt? Psychological torture since you f***ing got back to the group. Lucas, death saving for uh, bullying behavior, I believe. What they would call it today. 11. Pass. I hurt Matt's feelings and he left me to die. Matt, you're up. Okay. Uh, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. And then I'll take the dodge action. Okay. Cody, um, do we have the situational awareness to know that Lucas is down or no? Make a perception check. Nope, that's a one. That's the sixth one of the night, right? For you? I've rolled quite a few, yes. Yep. I should have used that one. I forgot about that. It's my plan to give him so many cards he forgets what he can do. Mm. No, I'm keeping track of too many damn creatures. Uh, any- you should have included less in this battle. No, you did not notice that Lucas went down. Okay, I'm going to swing on that number two with my hand axe then. Apparently roll another seven. Okay. Um, Could pull another one. I swing with an offhand hand axe. Okay. For an at, 18. At one or two? At number two. Okay. I deal one damage plus another eight, so nine damage as I spend my last superiority die. That one will drop. His body gets pushed. And that useless offhand. Which one? Number two. Who does number two work for? Nobody anymore. <clears throat> You've never been able to do that in a previous iteration quite like this. What? Offhand attacks. Y'all done? Okay. Yeah, I don't know to go back there and help Lucas, apparently. Or that that's happening, apparently. Droki's going to come running out of the darkness and flank Kira. <laughs> fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, Jeff. <laughs> and that's a crit. This might kill me. Outright, this might kill me. Old man Jeff is turned to be closer to the light when he reads. Staunch the bleeding. Triple damage. And you have disadvantage on strength decks and cons based rolls for 1d6 rounds. Sweet. Well, let's play play, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I was thinking we can get your guys from Mad Chat, and I think Jeff Phillip would be really good. That might kill me, Jeff. It might. You have to do them all at once like that. God. How many d6 is it? 
8d6. What did your sister do to your toys when you were a kid to make you this fucking damaged, you ass bite? (laughs) That's not enough. Sarah Thorpe Smith, I blame you. 20. That's close. That is 33 damage. I gotta go negative my max. My max. It's awful close. Uh, I'm at negative, you said 33, right? 33. Like negative 19 or negative 20. You're lucky the poison only lasts one shot, because otherwise that would have been another 6d6. I was surprised that you only, that was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I'm surprised you only no, rolled 8. I'm sorry. You should have more there. I should have one more. It shouldn't be enough, even on a 6, which it is. So it's a total of how much? 39 points of damage. No, my max is 37, and you have to do 16 first, so you would need to do... Nope. you are at 0 and... 53. <laughs> and rolling death save. This drogy and, guy. And one is going to attack L and L. And miss. That must be nice. Troy, you're up. Uh bonus action, you're stabilized. Yay! Jeff, take an opportunity attack. Okay. Oh no no no. no, no, no you no. don't have to Never if you mind. walk in between them. Never yeah, mind. you go there. You're alright. Yeah. Uh does a twenty two hit? Twenty two. On Drokey, yeah. On Drokey. He ha- he has a parry action. Oh, does he really? Yes. What a fucking prick. But not high enough that it won't raise his AC high enough to make that much of a... 11. Okay. All done? Mm-hmm. Lucas. Death saving throw. Save. Cool. <gasps> Still breathing. Matt. Guiding bolt on Droki. Okay. Does a 15 hit. <laughs> Knock a D10 off of that guy. At least he didn't ask you about your components. Oh, yeah. What components? Roll me 50%. Uh, I f***ing drank a healing potion. Oh, you did. You and did. when you, you read did. it, it said, next time you're healed. Sometime. Yep. One, two, three, four. Okay. What are you doing? Roll. He took His the... AC is 15. Oh. Yeah. So. Okay. As long as he takes one off. Uh, Cody, you're stable. Sorry. Yep. I'm just laying on the ground. All right. Uh, Both of them are going to attack L and L. Oh. Can I retcon the rest of my movement? No. Okay, no. You're right. No. No. Okay. Okay, I'm doing it. (laughs) That's difficult terrain. You're not going to be able to move through it very easily. Mm -hmm. 19 and 13. One of those will hit. The 19 hits? Yeah. So I should make you call out which one of those is which, but... (laughs) (laughs) Drokey sucker punches you in the mouth. 14 points of damage. And that's it. Uh, Goes back to you. Great. <clears throat> yeah, it's only a 14. Okay. You got you got a lot of side points that do cool shit. No, but I think he's doing the most damage. Oh, shit. Can. I, mm, I could have, but it's all right. Lucas. You cast a spell. Uh, Roll me a d20, Matt. Oh, fuck. You're good. 18? What? Because you cast a spell? I think I know what you're doing. Okay. Lucas. I think I've done this for Adventurers League before. Three saves. Stable. Yay, Lucas. Matt. You stop bleeding on your own. Yep. It's that angel blood. Um, <laughs> you're still down. Like you're just stable. Yes, I'm we're stable. Both, we're but both I'm stable. On the ground. That one's you. That one's me. No. <laughs> that one's you. Okay. Uh, just kill Droki. Five, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. You're stable. I already am. So I'm gonna cast your wounds. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. D8 plus wisdom. Yeah. I think. D8 plus wisdom. Yeah. So you regain nine. Hit points. All right. And then it's pretty much one is going to go, oh, one, a two, and he's going to fuck Droki in the ass with a crit fail. <laughs> I wish you assholes would stop rolling those. Mm-hmm. How does that work with the uh, spiritual weapon? That is magic. Oh. No, oh, I hate when he laughs. <laughs> the effects of the spell are reversed. Any harmful effects are applied to you, and the target replaces you in the spell description, if applicable, at double the potency. If a beneficial effect is intended to an ally, a random enemy is a, is in range is affected. So you take double damage from your spiritual weapon. It didn't. Okay. No. Oh. There's a range component there. I feel like. That yeah, I feel like with, that that doesn't quite work. So it's five. Plus it's a it's seven it's a backlash. So it's twelve damage, uh, and then I cast a spell. Do you have a thing? Oh, you did. Uh, roll a d. Eleven. Okay. Passive. I rolled a four earlier, and he did nothing, so who knows? No, he he told me he'd been doing something wrong. Um, Anytime you cast private. a leveled spell or 
something that requires side points, we're rolling wild magic anytime you're in the fair's res. Uh, okay. So that's the Which entire, sounds rad. Which is just the entire time we're in the underdark. It's not, it's not, no, not the not entire rad. time you're in the underdark. No, I'm saying, I don't, I don't know what that means. Whole, I rolled a four, so I don't... You I should have... If, if you roll a one... You need you, a crit fail. Yeah, if you oh. roll a one, you... You then go to a chart by, uh, and all kinds yeah. of crazy shit happens. I should have rolled one earlier for while, for when I did the mind spike. Thing. I did. I rolled one. Oh, okay. What is it? What, Cody looked at me funny. Deck, well. Oh, okay. Thank you. Who just went? Me. Yep. Cody, you're still down. Yep, still laying there. Okay. I'm back up, so... Oh, well, I'm away. Oh, I'm after Troy. Sorry. Yep. Uh, To it. To it, Troy. Droki is the green. 19. He was purple earlier. No, he wasn't. <laughs> he was, actually. No. The 14 was on the green last time. No, it wasn't. 14 points of damage. Ooh. How many Jeffs does it take to screw in a light bulb? One, because nobody likes him. <laughs> Wait, what the <laughs> f*** was that? <laughs> okay. Uh, Troy, you're up. Reroll it. Crit. Yay. Hidden what is it? 24. Face. 24. Okay. Who are you swinging at? Jokey. All the claws and shit. Four. 16. Okay. Claw his eyes four, out. 16. No, yeah. four 16. No, 416. Fucking obliterate. 16 will drop him. Fuck you, Jokey. Blop. You done? Yeah. Uh, you, okay. you usually use an offhand on something. And not when I'm using my claws. Oh, gotcha. Lucas. Stand up and... There's only one guy left alive. You right? have to stand up. There is. Yeah, it's half my movement to stand up. Stand up and blast him. It's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Crits have been fucking flowing this evening. This is called resistance is futile. Max damage, and if the target is resistant to this damage type, it loses that resistance for a minute. Well, that's stupid. Yeah. So it's 15 hit points. Really? 15 How about points? this card is futile? Okay. It's actually a pretty it's good... Dead. <laughs> it's dead. I was going to say. Who... That's not a bad one. You have cleared it. See? That wasn't so bad. You guys bitching about nothing. And we level up. Do we want to keep him alive? I'm unconscious, so... Take his stupid hat off. Oh, here. I can heal you. Pour this down his throat. Don't heal him. <laughs> Make him involuntarily drink it. I got one left. Don't do it. Make him drink the vinegar. <laughs> Make him drink the malt vinegar. It's wicked Just piss stabilize at. stabilize him. Hey, he's, he's, already, already he's already stabilized. stabilized. After an but hour, he needs to heal. To regain points. No, let's heal hour? him now so we can move. Okay. Three. So, are we still recording? Yeah. Stop like yeah, three hours moving. ago. No. We haven't released a podcast in like six months. I just f with you guys setting up the mics. This is a social experiment. He's partnered with a. So I repeat, do we want to keep him alive? Do we want to uh, stabilize him? Do we I, I thought you said you stabilized him. Droki. Droki. So I was yeah, referring to. That's who I was referring to. Well, before we do that, can I take his hat off his fucking head? And yep. Actually, gotta just strip him down naked. Tie him up and if then you wake want. him up. Yeah, strip him down naked and Kinda. tying his hands before we stabilize him. What are you doing? He fucking, he's a zippy little shit. I, he's got to have magic something on. I'm, so it could be the magic underwear of uh, you know Lemagagoon or some shit. Huh? Magic underwear? <laughs> That's good. Mormons are funny, but in a good way. That doesn't hurt anybody. <laughs> Except for the abusing. Shut the fuck up. I'm just saying. Okay, what are you guys doing? What, well, what all do we find on him? Well, I'm escorting my naked Darrow. Oh, just kidding. Oh, yeah. What's he got on him? Uh, Nothing. Short you sword, clothes off. Studded leather armor, uh, some fancy ass boots, and a funky looking hat. What size are the boots? Magical, so medium. They resize after attunement. Yeah, I would. Does anybody care if I try on some boots? Because I'm slow. No, it's fine. No, but I don't know if they're... Mm, they might be helpful to you. It might be boots of speed. Some kinds. Yeah. No, they're not boots. The boots of pitter-patter. I put the boots on. He ran through the difficult terrain, so... I'll just let him attune to it. It's fine. I think I know which boots they are. Yeah, they're not cursed or anything. I'll you know? put the hat on. Okay. That might be a bold strategy. <laughs> Um, I mean, I guess I, I mean, can... It's a jester's hat. It looks like tentacles. I can detect magic and actually see if these things are magical. So, we can do that. The boots are, the hat is not. Oh, the hat's just f***ing stupid? It's just a silly hat, man. <laughs> He's f***ing crazy. Monty is the voice in his head. That's who told him how to make the hat. Sorry, lass, it's just a weird old hat. 
Yeah, I want to uh, wear you it. You should tell them it's fucking magical. <laughs> you look um, magical in it. it. What about does, the? It does say if you can find a collector, somebody would be interested in buying it, but you have to actually research finding that. He's in the dreamland. What's on the? Uh, you don't the merchant the quest points. What's on the uh, other? No warlock. Yeah, the warlock I killed. Yeah, let's roll everybody. If he's got anything useful for me, see. I'll take it. Listed there. <sighs> okay, you come further into this room and you see this whole circle thing. Mm -hmm. Ritual circle. Um, Go to the middle and say Drazir. <laughs> no. Uh, you find... Oh, one other thing on Droki. You find a, um, a funky-ass piece of metal. Just like a blob of molten metal. That's slag. been solidified. Um, your research and everything. Yes. You know that this is the same material as the obelisk. Okay. There was a big chip out of it. Huh. If I recall. Hey, is that proof? Hey, is that proof of the obelisk? It is, is now. It, is it active? You Probably know what? Not. You're pretty sure that journal would be proof. Um, Where's the journal? Why would they believe a journal? <laughs> the journal and the stone would probably get at least get them to come Jesus. down here and look. Who took the journal? I don't remember. We're pretty sure you did. Oh, uh, okay. Great. You two were just discussing. I know, but that's what we were like. We didn't... Yeah. Luke's not didn't think about it. Uh, up on this... Do you need to go wipey? No. <laughs> Only Fodgy. I definitely got one in the in the chamber, though. Maddie need wipey? <laughs> <laughs> up in the cir uh, up around the circle, you find statues. Um, like, three-foot-tall statues of stone giants. Uh, they all have names carved into the bottom of and you find sacks of sh fingernail sha clippings. shaved shards of fi of fingernail clippings that go with each statue. Do we recognize any of the names? Uh, Dorhun, Graham, Rehud. These are all curses. Uh, Rehud's sh statue is two-headed. Uh, the others are not. I start smashing the statues and burning the lights. Oh, that, that'll smell awful. <laughs> okay. Cover all bases. Hey, I'm going to look around while they do that. I don't know if there's any other points of interest. Uh, ro Somebody roll me an arcana or a religion check. Nope. I don't want to roll another one. That's a 20. I got an 8. Car, please. Money, please. You know that we're, that hmm. the second head on the statue is a part of the ritual. 10. And removing it would remove it from Rehud. Oh. So we'll do that. I'll snap it off. So yep. Should I not break that statue? Would that kill him? <laughs> like the idea that Matt's just gleefully smashing these statues. <laughs> we go up and all the fucking stone giants have just keeled over dead. It's just little piles of dust. Um, while everybody is doing all this stuff, I'll put I'll use mending on the uh, glaive. Thank you. Did you say there was anything on the other warlock? I'm I'm getting there. Okay. And the giant Matt likes. Apparently, there's a chest somewhere. Uh, I found Ooh. it. It's right there. You write Mark it's the bottom in the of dust. a pit. That's why those clerics uh, no, didn't come up. Narak has a has a key around his neck that opens the lock on the iron chest. Cool. Uh, the chest contains a jar of ointment and a small leather bag with uh, coins in it. So, are you really gonna bring in like a jar of lotion and whatever we want to use this thing? You, you have know, to eat like, it. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be mixed with, like, sriracha sauce, so it burns the shit in your skin. <laughs> like, spray paint. Yeah. Just be a real bitch. In the ch uh, back around the the ritual chamber, uh, you find two books. Do they come up as magical with my Detect Magic on? I'm not sure how they would read. Uh, they, they equivocate to a spell book, but you know that this is rituals. This isn't sure. just sure. spells. Um, Language? Dwarven. Dwarf? What do you, what do you see here, man? Hey, uh, it's a book. Oh, that's right. I forgot you can't read. <laughs> Who else speaks Dwarven? Let me hey, see that. it's a middle finger. <laughs> the book she ha speaks it. She don't read it. The books have pages made from Trillimac caps. Uh, they contain the mad scribblings of Narak and his fellow Darrow savants. You could spend time reading. You could spend time researching this. Okay. Yeah, actually figure out It takes 12 it weeks to study. Um, Eight hours. <laughs> and you get Lock. Is it a mythos tome? Book. Eight hours pouring over them. Subtract 1d4 hours if the character reads Dwarvish. Eight hours? Take notes, Chaosium. And subtract 1d4? <laughs> Still so takes I four fucking weeks to read a book. Five hours. <laughs> Tucked in one book are two scrolls. Ooh. Scrolls are good. 
one that bears a list of six stone giant names, including Rehud and, D- and Dorhun, and the other is actually a letter written in broken dwarvish. Narak, need more scrolls. Stone Speaker Graham has traps, traps, traps. But Droki is, wi- is wily too and very small. I can hear talk, and in talk they say names. And I hear names and write names and give you names, so names, so you give to me. So you give me time, but you have, but you have to give me more scrolls, magic, magicy spell scrolls, Droki. Hmm. Uh, how much money was in the pouch of coins? So I added here to the total. Forty-five gold, fifteen silver. So Droki was the point man who was going up and stealing shit that would allow them to complete their rituals and summon their demogorgon wannabe. Shit. Mm-hmm. You probably have enough evidence now. I believe so. What's the uh, the, the what the giant have on him? He had like two big weapons or something. Yeah, yes. a really big, fl- uh, really could, big morning star and a I really bet we big. We could sell axe. those at the bazaar. We could f- carry them. We could sell them for support beams. We for got a, a construction project. We got a bunch of clerics. They can they can all put three hands on one and three hands on the other. Nah, we may have to kill them on the way out. You realize that, right? Oh, I mean they're Just leave roll the, for initiative. No, leave them in the fucking <laughs> pit. Take them nine hours to get out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just pull up the ropes and push the other one in. <laughs> A bad idea. On the other yeah, side of this way. chamber, there is a crack in the wall, and there is fungus here. You could take the the pygmy wart mushrooms and escape out the other way and ditch them here. It's not it's a not, bad idea. Option. So that was the way we were supposed to come in. Probably. Oh, by now I probably start to, way. I probably start to feel a little sick with my cackle cackle fever. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now it's only been a few minutes since I was in the water. Yeah. Yeah, remember combat is like six seconds yeah but we're looking per... around in this room and everything and yeah. probably about the time you get back to the surface you'll start to... hey the surface we won yeah <laughs> hey, game over <laughs> we figured the surface it out stug. nope you said it game over all right well well then at that point i cast lesser restoration on myself yep good old lester huh? good old lester and that's nice i passed passed what i used a leveled spell oh yeah Kira is looking forward to cackle fever. Do you, are you gonna get it? Yes. How how long do you till you get it? I don't know. I didn't roll a d4. Yeah, you did. It was four hours. Oh yeah, I just tossed some. Shit. I didn't know if you counted that d4 that I threw or not. Yeah, I did. Would an anti yeah. would an antitoxin fix that? Nope. No, no, okay. I'm not toxin. Hey, lesser restoration. Poof. You have lesser re- that you can do that. Yep. Oh yeah, and I gotta roll. He just did. I also can remove. He has a disease. roll for me. I feel I feel like in four hours we will no longer be where we're standing, so that's not really. Well, I'm preemptively curing her of her fucking disease. Do you want to close up this episode so Schroeder has something to end it on? We will end it with the with you guys getting treasure in the end of combat. All right, end scene. Our title track, Elders, is brought to you by Sleep for the Weary off their debut album, Nocturnes. Learn more about Sleep for the Weary at sleepfortheweary.com or by following the link on our homepage at rancorsbrothel.com. Enjoy the cards used during the podcast? Check out those and many other excellent Nord Games products at nordgamesllc.com. Tell them the Rancor's Brothel sent you. Want to support the podcast? Donate to the cause at patreon.com slash rancors underscore brothel. Patrons receive exclusive content, the opportunity to play games with us, the chance to win unique prizes, and more. And don't forget to join in the conversation on Facebook by following the Rancor's Brothel and joining the group, fans of the Rancor's Brothel. Follow us on Twitter at at rancors underscore brothel and email your comments and suggestions to between two crits at gmail.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Most of all, keep circulating the tapes. Much love, listeners. You live through me.